Hey guys, today I'm going to be filming my how I curl my hair routine. It's kind of like a messy but still like kind of pretty cute look. I have just filmed my no makeup makeup look which is very minimal as you can see I'm wearing it right now and I will link that down below for you guys if you are interested. I have already brushed my hair and now I'm going to just spray a heat protectant spray through it. For curling iron I'm just using a one inch this is a Conair Infinity Pro. This is a super cheap iron that I just got at Walmart. I think it was like 20 bucks or something. And I'm using it on the lowest heat setting possible because I have kind of damaged hair. I have bleached hair and I don't want to damage it further. Now I'm not going to section my hair. And I'm actually going to be using the clamp. I prefer the clamp. It just I don't know, it's easier and I find that it looks better in my hair. Now if you're like me and you have a couple shorter pieces in the front, um, because I used to have straight across bangs and they are growing out, I'm going to leave these out for now and I'm just going to start with this section here. Now my trick is getting a section that's like kind of vertical. So it goes from here to about halfway down my head. I don't want to pick a piece that's like this thin and just on the very top layer of my hair. Definitely want to go for something that is more vertical like that. It's quite thick. It's definitely not a small piece. Now I'm going to start here clamping at the very top and curling around. Now I'm just going to pulse this clamp thing and move it downwards as I go and then let it go. We will brush all of these out later but for now we'll just leave them kind of crazy looking. Again another vertical-ish piece, doesn't have to be perfect, clamping right at the root, curling around. And I usually leave about half an inch to an inch out at the very end. That kind of gives you more of like a wave feeling, not so much of a curl. Now for my under layers, I'm actually going to curl towards my face, whereas on all my upper layers, I'm going to curl away from my face. And I do that because I like the look of away from my face for all of the curls that you really see. However, because my under layers are so short, I can't really curl them so it just kind of flips out and I'm not crazy about like the flipping out look. So I like to curl them towards me so that they kind of have more of a curled under effect. And again, my undermost layers, I'm going to curl towards my face. I'm going to revisit these front pieces, but I'm just going to take this piece here and kind of do what I did with the other pieces, but I'm only going to curl it once. I'm not going to wrap it around a bunch of times. Just once around and leaving quite a bit out. I feel like that looks better than having two kind of shorter ringlets in the front. Now I just like to play with it through my fingers, mess it up a little bit. And at this point if I want I can go in and kind of fix a couple tiny pieces that maybe didn't get curled as much and I would take smaller pieces when I'm doing this so maybe like a little piece like that
that is how I curl my short hair. I think it's really cute if I want to add a little bit more edge and pieciness to it. I will spray in something like this Mark Anthony Dream Waves spray. And this is just a beach spray, salt spray, smells amazing like coconuts and definitely gives a more piecey vibe to my hair. And I just scrunch that in. And that is all for this really easy, quick, and cute little short hair, curling hair tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more of me, and I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye!